Bagels are one of those fun foods that are steeped in Americana. It's said that bagels made their first appearance in New York in the late 19th century, but they originated in the Jewish communities of Poland. It is a dough that's made with yeast, and it's formed in the shape of a ring with a big hole in the middle, kind of like a donut. It must be boiled first before it's baked, and that's what gives it its chewy goodness. Now let's get into what we'll need to make cinnamon raisin bagels. I have this stuff set out in two sections because this is how we're gonna have to make it, all right? So to make bagels, you're gonna have to start with a starter. So this is two and a half cups of bread flour. Do not use all-purpose flour, right? Bread flour. This is two tablespoons of regular white sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, two cups of warm water from the faucet, and this is what we're gonna need to make the starter. But let me tell you what this is so you can gather your stuff. This is another two and a half cups of bread flour, one cup of raisin, thereabouts, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and this is the real deal. We got the sticks and we grinded it up in the blender, and then one teaspoon of salt. So let's make the starter really quickly. Let me start by adding the sugar, and you don't have to add the sugar and the yeast in any particular order, okay? The yeast, let me get my whisk and the spatula. Let me whisk this first before I start adding the warm water. So what we're making here is a starter. Let me stir this really well. So when I was looking up how to make bagels years ago, Every video that I found says that it takes 24 hours to make bagels. We're going to have bagels ready in three hours, okay? So just let me go ahead and pour more water. This is going to become like a thick paste, but it's going to be smooth. It's not going to be too lumpy. Add some more water. And I like to spend time showing you guys exactly what's happening when we're doing breads and cakes and stuff like that because... I don't want to skip any of the steps. All right, so it's getting there. I'm going to switch out in a little while to my spatula just to clean up the edges. Here we go. Just kind of bring this all in. And now what we're going to do is cover this up and let it set for an hour. All right, guys, see, it foamed up nicely. So, and it's not like sourdough starter because it's not sour, but it is a starter. So the salt, the cinnamon, the raisins. Let me get all of this worked in, guys, before we start adding the dry to what we have here is the starter. So I'm using the handle of a wooden spoon because it's just the easiest thing that I can do. And then add all the dry and continue to stir this with a wooden spoon. So if you had a stand mixer, you'd be doing this part with a stand mixer, but I don't like to use those equipment because a lot of people don't have that. So I just prefer to do it old school like this. I'm just going to work the dough around so the, the handle of the wooden spoon is acting like my dough hook, right? The cinnamon is strong. It's burning me. It's burning my nose and my eyes. <laughs> this won't be good. I got rid of that um, wooden spoon, guys, and now I'm just using my hand because this is the easiest way to work the dough. So we're not going to add any more wet ingredient. We're just going to work this. And I want to catch all my little raisins that are trying to escape. Let me go ahead and put it on the countertop. And just put flour a little bit at a time as I just need so that this dough ball can become smooth, all right? Look at the raisins trying to escape. I'll get them, guys. Don't worry. Just need. And so at some point, you're going to want to stop and get your hands washed off and dried because that just makes it easier for you to handle the dough, all right? Put some more flour here. And all I'm trying to do is get this into a smooth ball. So remember now, we already had one hour 
where the uh, starter sat there and now we're kneading up the dough and once I can get this dough ball smooth I'm going to stick it back in the same bowl that I made it in let me get my bowl I didn't even wash it out alright I'm just going to stick it back in here just like this cover it up with a beautiful cloth and set it aside for about an hour one hour later all right guys so the rest of this is going to go pretty fast so pay attention let me tell you what you're going to need a knife I have cabbage on my knife a knife to cut the dough or dough cutter you're going to need a baking sheet with some parchment paper an egg wire cooling rack some sugar and stuff to cut cookies right and you're going to need this big one this is like one and five eighths versus this is this is one and five eighths versus this, which is one and a quarter. So you need the big one. So let's get going with the re-kneading. Get some flour. Are you guys keeping track of the time? So it's been two hours already since we started to make the bagel. And all I'm doing right now is re-kneading the dough ball because it doubled in size. Getting out all the air. And we're going to start cutting this into eight equal size pieces. So just let me go ahead and flatten this out a little bit with my hand. Grab my dough cutter or a big knife, all right? And we're going to cut this in half first. And then we're going to take each piece and cut it in half again. This is the easiest way to eyeball so that you don't have to get a scale. So this is how we're going to get eight equal size pieces. But this recipe is actually going to give us 10 bagels. All right, I'm going to show you how all this happens. So let me start to roll the first one off, get some flour. And I just want to form this into a ball. Pinch the bottom here with my hand, roll it, then use a rolling pin to flatten it to a degree. This is where the cookie cutter comes in. I'm going to punch a big hole in the middle. And this is the first one that's ready. Now let me do another one. I always flatten with the rolling pin because if you don't, the bagels are going to come too, um, too tall, all right, too thick. Set this aside and do the other one. And we're going to need some water, so let's get that ready. I want to go ahead and start my water. So this is just a skillet with a lot of water. We're going to add some sugar to it. Or you could add molasses or pancake syrup or maple syrup. But I'm just going to add sugar to it, all right? So just let me go ahead and do these. Don't throw these away. I'm going to show you what to do with these. All right, so we have our eight. Now let's take care of the holes. So I have them in two groups of four, and I'm just gonna roll this one into the ball just like if we're making the bagel. Are you seeing this? Look, a little raisin escaped me, guys. Use the rolling pin to flatten it. Now instead of using the cookie cutter to make the hole, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tear a hole into the middle of the dough. And this is what you can do if you don't have a large cookie cutter, all right? Just make sure the hole is big because it is going to close in on you. Set this aside. Now let's work on the last one. I'm going to use the cookie cutter on this one because I want to use this little baby one here as brata. Like Belize people say brata, which is extra. And let's light the oven. Big, 400. Start, because it takes a while to cook the temperature. Dash some of the sugar in there, like I said. And what we're going to do is boil these. Just put two at a time. All right, so you guys are going to have to move fast. So set the phone down. Don't let nobody text or call at this time because these don't take too long to boil, all right? Minute to a minute and a half on each side. Remove them. I'm using a slotted spoon to drain it. Put it on the wire rack and then get the other one out and then put two more in. 
So I always do two at a time because it gives me space in the pot to go ahead and flip them, all right? We're going to need egg wash. So let me beat my little egg here. Go back and grab these ones right here. Just set them on the rack. And then when they're all boiled, all 10 plus the brata, brush on the egg wash mm -hmm. then set it on the parchment lined paper. And the, the parchment paper has flour on it too, all right? 400 degrees. After 20 minutes, go ahead and switch the trays, all right? Because you want all of them to be brown on the top, brown and crispy. Now I'm just going to go ahead and give it 10 more minutes. They don't take too long to bake. And look, they're done. Yes, right at about three hours. All right, all right. Let's see if we can hold it with the cloth. <laughs> Jada, which one do you want, boo? Uh, <clears throat> that one gave me the evil eye. The one gave you the evil eye. hot. Ooh, we hot. <laughs> And we, have, we have a black lab named Wednesday and she saw food. Look at all Ooh, that smoke. It's steam. Mm. Ooh, smells so good. I can <laughs> smell the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boo. You can enjoy if you brave. Another thing hot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna pull it down. So, was it worth the wait? Mm -hmm. She loves it! She loves it! <laughs> you guys, thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment and we will be back with more bagels in the future like jalapeno cheese. I don't know, make up some. The sesame seed kind, the plain ones. The onion ones. The plain ones. The onion ones. We'll be back with more bagels, alright? Bye! Mm. Welcome. Welcome to all my new followers. I really appreciate you, and I look forward to getting to know you. Bye! Say hello to Mama. Hi, everybody! This morning with one local family. Look at her! Her hands inside.